1959, I became very interested in the uh, world of the occult as it applies to, or the hidden world, as it applies to politics and religion. And within the past 25 years, I have begun to look at the occult or hidden world of commerce and how banks and government works. The one thing I will say that the past 50 years has given me is I would say that nothing in this world works the way you think it does. Nothing. Governments do not operate the way you think they do. Banks do not do what you think they do. The police department is not here for what you think it is. Nothing in your world works the way you think it does. There's a far higher, bigger picture going on on the earth for at least 7,000 years of human history that we modern day people really just don't relate to. All we know is what we live with today, but never suspecting that the institutions of power, banking, education, the military industrial complex of the world has taken hundreds of years to develop. And over these last hundreds of years, great governments have come into being our great country of America, the United States of America, which was the first time on the history of the earth that a people rose up to demand their freedom and impacted the whole world. Because there's never been a time, I don't care when you look back and how far back you go into history, never been a time when the people of any country have ever raised up to declare their freedom. It's never happened. And that's what made America so interesting and so provocative back in the 1800s, is that Americans decided they wanted to be free. So what a clever idea that was. No one had ever tried that before. And of course, when you are a slave and you are considered to be a slave, when you declare yourself to be free, you're going to make some enemies. And you're going to terrorize your masters who thought they owned you. So now you're going to be a terrorist. And they are now able to kill you because you're a terrorist. Why? Because you have terrorized your masters who thought they owned you. And now they see that the slaves are deciding to revolt and don't want to be owned anymore. And they want to be free. And so there was a war. We call it the Revolutionary War in which Americans decided they wanted to be free, and they wanted to be free at any cost. And so there was a great war that started in our country against our enslavers, which was Europe. Now, if you keep in mind that for at least 2,300 years, Rome has dominated Europe. First of all, obviously, under the Caesars of Rome. And when the Caesars and the Caesars Rome fell in about the fifth century, AD, a new power rose in Rome called the Vatican. Well, the Vatican simply took over the position of Caesar of Rome. And so today, the papacy of the Pope is still basically Caesar in Rome. And this is why all of the nations of Europe all come to bow down to the Pope in Rome because he is, in point of fact, Caesar. His official title is Pontifex Maximus, and that was a term that was given to Caesar of Rome. So the point I'm making here is that for 3,200 years, Rome has dominated Europe. And for 3,200 years, Europe has dominated the world. Therefore, there is the old saying that all roads lead to Rome. So when you begin to see the wars and the tragedies and the things that are going on in the world today, the corrupt politics, the lies and the deception and the wars and incredible things which we're seeing that people are becoming more and more concerned and worried about what's going on in the world uh, scene and where are we going as a civilization, especially Europe now and America. Just keep in mind that what you are seeing today happening on the earth today with all the wars and, and economic problems etc all has a pedigree and all has a background which you need to understand it's called the history 
of our country, the history of Rome, the history of the Roman Empire. And so this is why I have always wanted to uncover, so to speak, the hidden history of Europe, the hidden history of America, and in point of fact, the hidden history of the world we live in. Because as I said before, so much of our religion, our government, our commercial systems, our educational systems, are all based on ancient, ancient concepts and belief systems. And unless and until you educate yourself as to how your world operates, you're never really going to experience freedom. Because as a man thinketh, so is he. And so one has to start thinking in terms of how would it be in your life if you were truly free? And what would the world be like if humans were actually free and no longer had slave owners, if the whole human race were free to do what they wish? We're not talking about anarchy. We're talking about legitimate government, which protects the rights of all good people and allows individuals to be who they want to be and to do the best they can. And so this is what I have always wanted to do is to help young people, especially young people, to understand where the world they live in has come from and how it got here. Because you cannot fix anything. You can't help any problem if you don't know how the problem started. Who was it? Albert Einstein said that you can't depend on the same people who caused the problem to fix it. So I believe that knowledge is power. And this is why so many people in America especially feel powerless because they have no knowledge. It's written in the Old Testament of the Bible. Profound things have been said in the Bible. For instance, it is written in the Old Testament that my people are dying from the lack of knowledge. And that's certainly true. Today, people are dying. They're wasting their lives away because they're ignorant, ill-informed, and unread as to how the world works. And there's another scripture that I think is extremely important that says, where there is no vision, the people perish. Let me say that again. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Simply meaning that as long as civilization does not understand where we have come from, where we are now, and where is the whole human race going in the future. If you don't have that kind of spiritual vision, then we're going to perish. Because all of us are nothing more than sitting ducks in the pond. Unless you understand freedom and where it came from and how it was obtained, and unless you start thinking in terms of protecting your rights and your freedoms, the ancient Roman law, and I find the ancient Roman law very interesting. Roman law basically said, there was a maximum Roman law that says, for he who would be deceived, let him. And another maximum Roman law that says, if you do not defend your rights, you have none. And so this is what I have been trying to get young people to understand is that you need to educate yourself about how the world really works. Because until such time as you have educated yourself and understand that knowledge is power. And this is very, very important. Because as long as you don't understand how you are being used, how you're being lied to, mistreated, deceived, you're never going to be able to get out of the mess we're in. Knowledge is the key. And unfortunately, too many people are preoccupied with watching television and sports and trying to make a dollar just to stay alive. They don't realize what's really going on behind the scenes in our country of America and around the world. There's a very big story here that needs to be told. Who is running this planet and what are they doing to the human race? Not just to America, but the whole human family on the earth is in serious jeopardy. And it is calling into question the very veracity of human freedom. Unless and until we wake up and begin to take back the sovereignty of our own minds, forget about television, forget about all the nonsensical entertainment that we're bombarded with, and begin to start thinking seriously about your life, and where you've come from and where you're going and what's going to happen to your children and your grandchildren when you're gone. You had better start waking up and understanding the world we live in is very, very serious trouble.
And we need to wake up and understand how the world really works. That's what I hope to help you do. I'm Jordan Maxwell.